Hey, 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 scrappy people, Tracy Reed here today, and I am going to be doing a quick unboxing and a layout using my brand new off to school collection for Echo Park paper. It is obviously a school themed collection, so I will be doing a school themed layout. And I'm not going to go through this piece by piece. We're just going to glance over it because I don't know about you. You let me know in the comments below. I find full unboxings to be a little bit both boring to put out there and to watch. <laughs> so we're gonna go through this real quick just so you can see a full overview of the line and then we will dive right into the layout. So this collection is so cute. It has owls are the main theme. You can see there's an owl paper. And then uh, we've got lots of papers. As, as always, we have 12 double-sided papers and an element sticker. Here is the element sticker, so you can see everything a bit bigger. Lots of school fun going on in this collection. I love it so much, it's so cute. So it's, you can tell, it's also kind of middle grade too. It's not really for little kids, it's not really for big kids. It's kind of somewhere in the middle where you can use it for basically anyone, but it's gonna be perfect for my middle schooler who I will be scrapbooking today. Here is the, um, solid set so you can see the color palette oh i forgot to show you the close-up of some of the journal cards there's a whole nother sheet of journal cards too the four by fours but they don't show those on the cover <laughs> but you can see there's also a mixed journal card in here with some vertical four by sixes as well as some two by twos there are two sets of stamps lots of borders and sentiments in here put the sticker book in the papers aside for a second. There's chipboard, enamel dots, adhesive brads, puffy stickers. Then there are two stencils, perfect for making your own patterns. And then as always, there are two different sets of ephemera. We have the ones that are called ephemera. They are, they've got lots of journaling spots and word bits. There are some frames too. And then the frames and tags have more frames and more tags. But again, lots of journaling, lots of word bits, places for you to, um, you know, really tell your story. There is a whole sticker book. There are two sheets each of all of these stickers. So we'll go through the first few, or the first set, I should say. How come I can't, okay. We've got all of the icons as well as lots of titles and word bits. There are three sheets of just icons and some titles. I love these overlapping letters. You can see all the different one owl. He's the professor, the graduate, and the student. So cute. Then we have some clipboards with word art titles, banners, labels, more labels, and now we have chalkboards. Of course, word bits. I love how these all look together too. So we've got a mix of these sort of sentence um, background, like the manila paper, I guess. There are labels, and then of course there are the multicolored labels and the multicolored lettered labels. That's what I always like to do. And then a sheet of uh, letters, very usable ones. And lastly, borders. And then they start repeating. <laughs> Last but not least is the six by six paper pad, which of course I didn't open first because I'm a dork. The six by six paper pad is all of the papers, but smaller. Plus they rearrange the cards and make them different sizes too. So we've got we can see the paper is closer now. So these are obviously gonna be a smaller size, but there's the mixed icons, red stripes. Here are some journal cards. We've got that composition notebook pattern as well. I love this rainbow grid, clipboards, green, Mr. Owls. Making new friends orange. We've got the school buses on that great chalkboard green. Ah, it's all uncoming undone. <laughs> T 
take a look. It's in a book. Shout out to Reading Rainbow. And we should start repeating here pretty quick because you get two copies of each paper. Oh my goodness. They're all going to fall out on me. <laughs> oh, here we are. Stars and crayons. And we're starting over. Okay, so that is the whole line. Let me get settled in and we will start scrapbooking my picture. I don't know if I'm gonna use black and white or color, but this is the picture I'm gonna use. Middle grader, seventh grade. All right. Okie dokie, so I didn't know exactly what direction I was gonna go. I kind of wanted to play this whole layout by ear and wing it since I rarely wing my layouts. I normally always go in with some sort of a plan, but this one I just kind of wanted to be creative and free flowing. So I cut down this sort of school ledger paper to 11 by 11 because I knew I wanted to mat it on a couple of these busier papers. Um, I didn't know which one I wanted to do. I decided to go with this um, plaid one, but I wanted to put a solid in between the two. I want to do this light blue because there's not a lot of light blue in this collection, but the photo that I'm using has this light blue in it, so I want to add it to the page so that it is a nice heavy block. I cut it down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half, and instead of just doing the normal sort of centered triple matting that you would normally do with a bunch of papers like this, I'm actually going to tilt them and sort of have them go off the edge. I'm also going to gut that, um, plaid paper so that I can use it in other places or at least use more of it and not waste it. Now when I um, receive these collections from Echo Park I get like six collection kits so I don't need to do that <laughs> but I am not a paper waster if I can help it so I just my automatic instinct is to just cut out the back which is just what I did very messily here and I will trim this down because that crooked edge was making me crazy even though I wasn't going to be using it right away <laughs> but I cut it down and now I have this really cute triple matted page and I'm just gonna go with the tilt for the whole page and I decide almost immediately that I'm gonna go with the color photo because it's pretty pale to begin with anyway so I'm just gonna make sure that I use that color one because it has the blue. I'm going to cut out this red um, composition notebook because I think it's going to make a great mat. And then I'm going to use three of the two by twos. And I kind of had this idea of this comp composition where they are sort of lower. So I'm going to, I'm going to mat this offset and then I'm going to lower down these two by twos. And that was kind of where I started with this composition. And I decided I also wanted to use these paper strips. So this was the back side of the ledger paper. I'm going to use this one and I'm also going to use the plaid and then the back side of the plaid, which is red. So that is me using up scraps, making sure that I am maximizing my product and really getting everything or getting the, you know, the most value out of it that I can without, you know, cutting into another paper. Plus, because I'm using the same pattern here, it creates consistency on the layout so that you're seeing the pattern in more than one place. And it just kind of adds a visual heft that makes the whole layout feel more balanced. This black will play off the black school days card, which will um, give it a little bit more and the black spine of the composition notebook, which this red also plays off of too. So it's just bringing the whole thing together and making sure that the colors are nice and well distributed. Now I'm going to be adding a lot more color into this page as well. Um, I'm going to basically use every color of this collection and it's a very colorful collection, but the base of the page is the same color palette basically. So I'm not going to overlap these. I'm going to let them cascade down the page. And I will add more to it later, but right now we're just going to go with the papers. And then I'm going to offset matte this photo with the 4x6 card. And I initially put it down so that the photo is straight on the page. And I did not love the way that all of these angles played together when I did that. So I'm going to take it up and I'm going to tilt it to this, about the same angle as the papers, which 
I don't know if you can tell. It's not perfect, but it's basically perpendicular. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. I think that's a stretch, but it is tilting the opposite way of the main white paper and almost the same tilt as the blue paper. So you're getting that visual weight with the angles of all of the papers as well. I was going to overlap these two by two cards onto the photo, but I almost immediately decided I didn't like the way that that looked. So I very carefully took them off and moved them to the outside of the photo instead. So there's a little bit of a white border between the photo and the journal card, just getting that extra adhesive off. That is a gum eraser that is meant to remove adhesive. It doesn't always work on photos especially, but it works pretty well. Okay, so now I've got all of this down and I'm ready to start embellishing. I initially go for the chipboard. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, one thing that kind of bothered me a little bit about Echo Park chipboard before is that the um, outlines around like where the chipboard is cut, it was really loosey-goosey and they have changed that. It's more tight into the design itself. And so I wanted to sort of test those out and play with those, but I decided that they were a little bit too big for the page eventually. So I'm gonna go with the stickers instead in the sticker book. I really love how that rainbow title adds all the colors to this page and gives me a jumping off point to add whatever colors I want. So that is gonna stay there. And Yep, you can see switching out the smaller ones. And I want to add in stars, but I'm just not feeling the way that the star is just hanging out up there and I didn't quite know what to do with it yet. So I left it there for a while. You can see that there's, I had another star stuck to me and I decided I didn't want to use it. But don't worry, I will figure it out. <laughs> I'm testing out a bunch of stickers that I don't end up using, but I am gonna use these puffy paper airplanes because they're adorable. And then I'm gonna pull in one of the borders from the four, the four by six sticker book, or it's not four by six, but whatever size sticker book that is. And I wanna put this pencil border kind of intersecting with that label. So I'm, you can see that it's not long enough. So I'm going to just cut off the end and stick it at the edge there. And then I'm going to stick it on the other side. And look, you'll never know. <laughs> Perfect. At this point, I decide to do the unheard of for me and add in some stenciling. I'm gonna use an ink blender with that yellow Catherine Pooler ink, and I'm going to go ahead and just add yellow stars and apples to this page. And I'm actually gonna build a whole sort of scatter cluster around this stenciling. And I'm of course using a piece of paper to be very careful that I don't get it anywhere I don't wanna get it. But even then you still kind of, you end up out of the line sometimes, it happens. <laughs> the brush isn't very accurate. All right, okay, that is so cute. And I loved it the way that it was, but it was very, very yellow. And so I wanted to add in more color to it. But again, that star is just not working. So I'm gonna actually bring in some of these circular stars from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and I'm gonna start scattering them in amongst all of the other stars and the apples, making sure that I put um, any star that is like overlapping some of the stenciling, making sure that I completely overlap the stencil so that it's not sticking out underneath the sticker and looking a little bit weird, or I'm sticking it in the white spot. So now I have those, I'm gonna add more things in later. I, was, I decided I didn't want the paper clip, but I'm gonna add in more stuff later. Put that blue star back. First, I'm gonna add in the subtitle to this label, and it's gonna say last day of seventh grade. I actually trimmed down those letters a little bit because they were too wide. And then I took the tag from, I don't know, the, that was from the frames and tags. And that's where I'm gonna add my journaling, but then I decided that everything kind of needed to move up a little bit, so I very carefully took the stickers off, moved everything up just slightly, probably not even enough to notice, but enough to make me happy because I'm a little bit crazy like that. <laughs> and then I stuck everything back down again. And now I'm almost ready to start adding the last touches, like the finishing touches to this layout, but gotta make sure that that tag is fully under there first. 
I went with this yellow ribbon instead of the blue that I had pulled out. And when I was going through all of my ribbons, I noticed there was green rickrack that was really cute. So I decided to put that down here in this border cluster thing I got going on. And of course I do not need it to go underneath all of those stickers or across the words. So I'm just going to do just like I did with the pencil sticker and cut it on either side and stick it out from underneath the cards and the stickers. I'm going to use liquid glue to glue it down, but I'm also going to use staples. I always like the texture that the mini stapler adds to the page anyway. Plus you get more of a secure hold with the stapler than you do with just glue. So I'm going to go ahead and staple that down trim off the excess and then at this point um, I added in the finishing touches to this cluster which is some of these brads from the brads <laughs> and this sticker is gonna go at the top here um, and then after that I turned off my camera because I felt like we were getting close to done here but I wasn't quite feeling like it was done and the main problem was up here in this top corner and the bottom corner it felt a little bit blank so I added that banner at the bottom and then I added these word bits and the owl at the top and it felt less blank and like everything was anchored just a little bit better one more chipboard this time paper airplane and it is good to go so if you enjoyed this video i'd love it if you give it a thumbs up if you're new here go ahead and subscribe i'd love to have you if you don't already you can follow me over on instagram i'm at tracy m reed i'd love to see you over there as well and i will see you next time thank you